Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing a new favorites video. So this is the last two months of favorites, everything I've been loving. I have makeup, skincare, uh, just random things as well, some vintage also. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. First, I'll start off with what I am wearing today. So I am wearing the Marc Jacobs Stiletto eyeshadow palette. I haven't used this in a while, but it is so cute. So I am really glad I used it today. Then for lip products, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Pillow Talk and then the Tarte Lip Plump in Mixed Berries. So we're going to start out with skincare products. So a moisturizer I've been loving is the Burst Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. And this is just a super nice moisturizer. It's very lightweight. It's almost cooling when you put it on the skin. And it has aloe leaf juice and green tea extract. And so there were times where I would get like a rash or something. And I feel like because of the nice ingredients, it like, I don't know, it just helped soothes my skin so if you have sensitive skin I feel like this would be good and yeah I have been loving this I feel like I would definitely repurchase this this is a newer product into my skincare routine but I feel like I'm like low on it already because I've been using it so much also from Versed I have this little skincare headband and it's so cute the little pink bubbles on it and I just kind of use this to keep my hair back when I do skincare and I look funny now but it's just cute I've been using this a lot also some lip products I have two little lip balms that I've been enjoying this is the EOS birthday cake little lip balm something about birthday cake flavored things I've been enjoying it just smells so good. So this one I got as a gift for my birthday, I believe, and I've been using this a lot. It's, you know, definitely getting down there because I've been using it, and I just really like the smell, the feel on the lips, and then I think more so of the two, I love this one, the Bigger Than Beauty Skincare birthday cake lip treatment this is so nice as well it's not like a overpowering birthday cake smell it's just kind of both of them are a little bit more subtle yeah it smells so good i've been using this a ton also i love their lip treatment and this is their most recent flavor so i've been really enjoying both of these then some makeup products i have thrive cosmetics products here to show you this is the Aylin Brilliant Eye Brightener. I love the Brilliant Eye Brighteners. And this is their lilac shade. They finally came out with a purple and I just love it. It's a little more of a subtle eyeshadow stick product, but if you can see, it's like this gorgeous lilac color. And I've been wearing this a ton. I've worn it with this uh, romper as well. Just, I love the light lilac colors. It's just really pretty. And then, the infinity waterproof liquid eyeliner pen i used to love their old liner pen and now they have a new formula in like a different tube here this is their ella brown matte shade and this is their lauren uh black matte shade and if you look i'm wearing the black today i just really like how thin and precise the brush is i've actually been using the brown a lot i think it's just really a nice dark brown let me show you the brown but it's easy to get a nice thin line and it's just very pigmented and easy to use so i've been loving these a powder favorite i have that i'm wearing today is the elf halo glow setting powder and so this is great if you kind of like a little bit more of a you know glow to your skin i feel like you can kind of See the glow here on my face i'm wearing this mostly all over my face except for the under eyes and it's just really nice it might be hard to tell but this is just their light shade i just have been loving this powder it sets the makeup it gives you a little bit of a glow i have some vintage favorites so this is a vintage perfume it is the jack rose toilet water and i showed this in one of my hauls how gorgeous 
is the rose detailing and I found out a little bit more about this product so I wanted to let you know the company opened this is Bacorn Company of Elmira New York and the company opened around 1909 and closed due to a fire in 1927 and so they basically were all these are all from before 1927 so I was right about this being from the 20s and I just think that's so cool it's over 100 years ago that's just crazy and I couldn't find the exact date but it's definitely within the 1920s but I've been keeping this in my bathroom and I just think it's so cute in there I love it another vintage favorite are these gorgeous I don't know what year they're from but these gorgeous little swan salt and pepper shakers how cute are these oh my gosh I flipped when I saw them they are so gorgeous if you don't know I absolutely absolutely love swans and so I had to get this here is the little shakers here and I think they just look so cute on my tea cart but here they are I am if you know any information about these let me know I could not find them online but I found them at an antique store and I just had to pick them up they're just so cute <laughs> another random <laughs> decor piece I have these macaroon candles I got from a boutique and they are so so cute so this one has little they all have little things on them and they're a this is a mint color and these match my bathroom colors perfectly the girly bathroom this is a light pink and then this one is a lilac which is exactly the colors of my girly bathroom and they just look so cute on display and they smell so good oh my gosh i love them i don't know i don't know where you can find these i found them at a boutique and I also will never light them. I just think they're perfect for display and really cute. So I wanted to share those. I have a random mug from TJ Maxx. I just thought this was so cute and I've been loving drinking my tea out of this. And it is just has these cute little flowers on it. How many times am I going to say cute? I have some drink favorites. So one, I'm not sure if I've mentioned before, the condensation, the Barbie Swoon Barbie Pink Lemonade. This was in my Barbie video. If you haven't seen that, it's my Barbie Get Ready With Me. But I absolutely love this pink lemonade drink. And it's only five calories. It has vitamin C in it. It's just awesome. So I've been drinking this sometimes. And then lately, I also started drinking the Poppy Strawberry Lemon. I haven't tried too many flavors of this one, the Poppy drinks, but it. I really like the Strawberry Lemon. It's 25 calories, not much sugar, and it's supposed to be pretty good for gut health as well. So that's kind of cool. But I wanted to mention these fun little drinks. Okay, this is such a favorite. I got these little Lennox canisters. So this is the Lennox Village. I believe they're from like the 90s. This is the coffee when I keep my instant coffee in. And it's just like a cute little canister. The top comes off here. But oh my gosh, how adorable is this? I love reaching for this every morning and then this one is for tea so i have an assortment of my different teas in here how cute i absolutely love this one as well i have three books to show you first the most important my favorite book of all time is this beautiful book from my grandpa so i believe this is called story worth and he wrote out i think every week he had like a um my grandpa had a prompt and so every week he would answer it and write and eventually they turn it into a story so this is a collection of my grandpa's stories and there's pictures there's all these different stories he's such a good storyteller so this is honestly my favorite book this is him when he was younger and it's just his little story collection i read it recently i will continue reading it love you grandma and papa if you're watching this some other books that i've been enjoying though are gown with the wind this is a kind of cozy mystery if you also like gone with the wind and like some references of that as well 
that is thrown in here also but it's just kind of like a whodunit but still kind of a cozy mystery is what I would call it really good book I found it really nice for the end of the summer something to just kind of relax and read it was very cute then I have Audrey the 60s so this is all about Audrey Hepburn and some gorgeous pictures that I've never seen before in here it's a very easy read it's mostly photos like look at this oh my gosh um mostly photos but some quotes and different things as well it was a, a quick read but such a good one I think it's really a nice one if you're an Audrey Hepburn fan so I got this at TJ Maxx I believe and I really enjoyed looking through it. Some favorites I wanted to mention is I actually went to Ohio with Randy, my boyfriend and his family, and we had a little trip there. It was super fun to explore a new area and to see his family. So that is a favorite. Another favorite memory too is that one of my amazing friends, Nikki, came to visit me here and we had such a blast. We went all different places, shopping and just enjoying you know each other's company it was a great time some show and movie favorites last and then i think we're good to go a show favorite is manifest on netflix it i don't know it was kind of a crazy show if you like shows that make you think and that are kind of like conspiracy-esque in a way but it's you know made up that is a good show i really enjoyed that one we watched all the seasons of it recently and then a couple movie favorites is of course of course the barbie movie it was so good it was so anticipated and rightfully so i really enjoyed the barbie movie and then on the complete opposite of the spectrum i also enjoyed the horror movie talk to me if you like horror talk to me was really interesting and spooky two very different movies but i loved them both in different ways all right i think that was it i hope you guys enjoyed this little video let me know your favorites whether it's makeup skincare random things i would love to know and yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye